Hey what is going on everyone, Jason here Waddle and welcome back to another productivity video and in this video I'm going to talk about how I organize my Google Drive for college. So when I talk to people during college, one thing that I always get asked around is how do I stay organized, especially online? And to me, since I feel like organization is one of my strongest suits, I wanted to just use this video to be able to just go through my Google Drive with you guys, show you guys exactly how I organize everything from my academics to club work to my research, as well as guide you through the systems that I have in place whenever I'm taking a lab class, a science class, or even a humanities course. So yeah, without further ado, let's show you guys first hand on my Google Drive. So first and foremost, as you can tell on my Google Drive, I am using my school's Google account. And the reason I use my school's Google account is so I can then separate out my academic stuff with my more personal stuff such as budgeting and finances. And in the process, I think it also makes me a little bit more productive. But to begin with, you can tell from my Google Drive, I have a bunch of different photos and then I also have some files just left around. Now personally by habit, whenever I get a new document into my Google Drive, I will try my best to sort it into any of the folders above, and if I absolutely cannot, I will just leave it as is. And I can use the search bar at the top if I really have to find something quickly. But just an example, some things that are in my Google Drive that I leave out in the main files page. A four year plan that I have in order to plan out my classes and be able to decide on which classes to enroll next. A professional photo so I can include it whenever I need one. And various licenses or proof of vaccinations that I would need to submit as a part of some sort of application. I would then label my folders with certain colors, but in general the colored folders are the classes that I'm taking for that quarter, and the non-colored ones are just basically everything else. So for example, for each lab that I am, I will assign them a photo. For each club that I am in, I would assign that a photo. And I also assign photos based on more general things, such as since I studied for the MCAT, I put all my MCAT stuff within a photo. And I also have a photo called miscellaneous notes, which basically includes any type of notes that I take at an event. So for example, I have notes on CPR, notes about investing, as well as notes on how to gain research experience. And if I have multiple files from an info session, I would then combine them and put them into a folder as in this case. I also created another folder in college called scholarships and applications and in this folder it basically just contains all of the applications that I've written out for various clubs and various leadership positions that I apply to throughout college and I also have a folder that contains all of the scholarships that I apply to while in college and then besides that there's another folder in my drive called resumes and cover letters since usually while you're in college you want to be able to apply to a lot of internships so then you can increase your chances at getting a job after you graduate so in this folder I would always keep the most up-to-date resume and the most up-to-date cover letter that I have and if I do need to make any revisions I will just go down here make a copy and then just edit the new copy that I make while putting the old resume into my past resumes and if a job requires me to answer a lot of short answer questions I will type them out in a separate document and then put it into my past applications folders in case I need to reference something in a future application. Now moving on to how I sort my folders for different types of classes we'll first talk about how I sort my stuff relating to any sort of lab class that I have so in this example, I just brought out my chemistry 14BL class. Going into this folder, it's basically just sorted by each lab that we do. So in a sense, each experiment that we do, there will be a folder for it. And within each lab folder, for example, you will have the lab data that we collected, as well as all the flow charts, pictures of the results that we found by hand, as well as the guidelines and lab reports that we do. There's also other photos that I made, including one for the midterm and one for the final, and each of these just includes the resources that I used to study for the class at hand. I also have a photo that includes all of the lecture PDFs, so it's easier for me to find something from the lecture if I do in case need it. Besides that, there are also a lot of common files that I tend to leave outside of any folder. So for example, our syllabus for each class, I will leave that outside Outside. Any textbook materials that will be referenced throughout the quarter will also be left here and even an equation sheet if that is provided to me. So now moving on to how I organize my science classes, I have for example here my neuroscience class and it's a lot more simpler than the lab classes because instead of grouping things by lab, I just go back to grouping things by either lecture notes that I've taken myself, including a good notes file which is how I take notes on my iPad, a PDF of all of the notes that I've taken just for reference 
in the future, as well as any notes that I've taken on my computer during a seminar. Like the lab class, I'll also save all the lecture slides that's given to me by the professor. And like the lab class, I'll put all of my review session stuff into a separate folder as well. But since my science classes usually have more than just a midterm and a final, they're just spaced out a little bit more weird. I will also include a folder just called discussion reports, which is basically any written assignment that I have to hand in either in person or online. I'll make sure to copy the questions first onto a Google Docs folder, answer the questions before copy and paste or saving as a PDF and turning it in. And yeah, that's basically how I would organize one of my folders on Google Drive for science classes. And last but not least, I have my Google Drive for an English class or any humanities class. And this one, I think it's probably the most simple one out of all of them, since English classes don't usually have set chapters, and instead we might be covering multiple topics all at once during one single lecture, I just have one gigantic Google Docs file to include all of my notes. Clicking into here, and looking at my notes actually, Rather than grouping it by time, I group it by how the quarter system works. Since our class meets two times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would just sort by the week of the quarter or semester, followed by T or R to determine if that was the Tuesday class or the Thursday class. And it's really simple for me because if I want to reference something, let's say from week for Thursday, I'll just click week 4R, and that will allow me to access my notes pretty quickly. But other than my notes, I of course have the syllabus, and then I have a folder for my reading questions, which is just any reading reflections or reading questions that we have to answer. So I'll write everything down before saving as a PDF and submitting the document. And since it's an English class, of course, there will be a lot of essays as well. This is why I tend to save all of my essays that I work on throughout the quarter. And if I do need to submit like a first and second draft, I'll then make a copy of the first draft and then edit it. So then that could eventually become the second draft or final draft. And yeah, personally, because I majored in neuroscience, I actually didn't get to take a lot of humanities courses, so this is probably the most bare bones type of organization that I've ever made during college. But yeah, once the quarter is over and I'm finished with all of these classes, I'll then select all of the folders for my classes and then drag and drop them into my previous classes folder. So then in the future, once I've taken all of these classes, I can then go into this folder and find any file from any class that I've ever taken during college. Plus, this folder also gives me a pretty amazing reminder on how far I've come in college and how many classes I managed to take throughout the short time that I had there. But yeah, that's basically in a nutshell on how I organize my Google Drive folders while I'm in college. So hopefully through this video, you're able to take away and implement some tips so then you can help stay organized throughout your time in college. But yeah, that basically wraps up this video. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the WAD squad, best squad in the nation. And other than that, I wanna wish you guys all a waddle-tastic day and we'll see you in another video. Peace.